guys, please be quiet. <laughs> We're all chatting away, having a good time, getting ready for our workout. And it is a bit of a boxing style workout today, but it is going to be a boxing style workout with a difference. We are going to pretty much get stuck into each other, so it should be lots of fun. If you've got someone at home there exercising with you, please feel free to work out with them because we will be doing a fair bit of partner work. So see how you feel, and let's get started. Nice and easy warm up to begin. We will learn a few of the punches, a few of the kicks, and then we'll get stuck into it. Two, eight more marches. Seven, six, now march feet out wide. Four and three, okay, guard up, squat it down, let's go. So squatting with the legs, just keeping a nice, relaxed shoulders. Hands up like you're talking on two mobile phones. Hi, mum, hi, dad. Two, roll it side to side. And if you've got a mum and dad like mine, you'll be on the phone for quite a while. Okay, well, what we do is cross one side, other side. So it's a nice, easy movement. Punch, straight out. Keep going, eight more, eight and seven. Now try and use your torso as well. So you're twisting through your midsection and the knee of the arm that's punching rolls in. So it's more to punching than just pushing your arm out. You've got to coordinate the rest of your body as well. Eight, seven, the thing is you get exhausted just doing a few. Four, three, two, and one. Just roll the shoulders, because you can imagine if you do too much punching, your whole upper body gets stiff and sore, so you need to alternate it a little bit with some lower body movements, such as leg curls. Keep moving, please. Okay, slowly with the arms. Up and down, just nice and gently. Getting the upper body moving, getting warm, without too much stress just yet. Four more, please. And three, and two, and one, marching on the spot. Okay, stand with your right foot in front. Okay, left foot back, heel off the ground, so you're on your toe, nice and soft through the hips and the knees. Tummy's tight, hi mum, hi dad, back on the phone. Let's go, we're just gonna go jab and cross. Right arm, left arm. Now when that left arm comes around, torso twists and the left knee pushes through. Bang, now try and make that first jab just as powerful as the second punch. That's it, got eight more, eight. So it's really simple combinations. Don't have to think too much, which is nice. You got four to go, please. Four, now we're gonna start working on a combination that we're gonna use in our pairs. It is this easy. Sorry, Effie, what's wrong? Harry, watch out. Oh dear, let's pray he's not watching. <laughs> jab, cross, jab, cross. In case you're wondering, Harry is Effie's soon to be ex-husband. Okay, we're gonna go jab and duck, jab and duck, jab, duck, jab. Keep going, so the leg that's out in front, same arm is punching, duck. Now this is a sequence you have to remember and how easy is it. Four more, duck, three, down, two, and one. Arms are break, change sides. So if your left leg's in front, left arm punches first. Up on the toe, so jab and across. Jab and cross. Jab, cross. Now bring that knee around, push. Jab, harder if you come on. Hurry, hurry, jab, cross. I'm gonna get myself in trouble, aren't I? <laughs> Four more, if I'm not here next week, you know why. Keep going, two to go. Okay, how about you jab and then you duck. Jab, duck, jab, duck, jab, duck. Come on, you got eight more, eight. Good, now look at the shoulders as the jab comes forward. The other shoulder, or the right shoulder, goes back. So you get a lot of power just through that movement there. Last one. Okay, squat it out. Down and up, so we've learned jabs, we've learned crosses or reverses. Next one, uppercut. We're gonna do the easiest version of an uppercut. All you're gonna do is roll it up and under. That's it, it's almost like a shimmy, isn't it? A straight version of a shimmy. Okay, a little faster, a little faster. Good, just rolling the hands up under towards your chin. Nice and easy. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, come on. Four, three, two, one. The best one about that is this happens. So anyone watching from behind, sorry. <laughs> All right, into your next movement, which is your hook. We won't do too many of those, will we? Next movement is your hook. Right foot in front, right arm swings around. Hook, then hold it there. Hook. So it's got to come out before it comes around. Now I want you to practice this one on the right arm. During the break, practice on the left arm. When we come back, let's get right into it. See you soon.
All right, straight back into it. Now, let's think about the sequence that we were doing earlier. Right foot in front, it was a jab and a duck. Jab and duck. Jab and duck. Now, try and put some real force into the each and every punch. Jab and duck. So, you've got the rhythm of it. One jab, one duck. If I got you to team up and to do alternating jabs and punches and ducks, it will look something like this. Can I just have Wendy up here for a second? Wendy and I will show you what we're talking about. Oh, I get this right. <laughs> okay, right foot in front. All right, now you're gonna jab first. Ready? Go. Jab, now duck. Jab, and duck. Ready, jab. I'm ducking so low. <laughs> I don't know about you. Jab, duck, jab. <laughs> okay, so I want you to team up. We'll do two pairs here, and we'll see how this goes. So maybe who, yeah, on the front mat. All right, so decide now who is gonna jab first and who is gonna duck first. You now have you got this sorted out because this is very important. Who's jabbing first? Ready, set, ready, let's go. Jab and up. Go again. One and two. Again. One, two, one. This is an accident waiting to happen, isn't it? One, two, again. One, two, one. Well, see, it's kind of working perfectly. What happened here? <laughs> go again. Ready, set. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Jab and duck. We're both up, Jeffy. Duck, jab, duck, jab. Okay, moving on, moving on. I want you to do the same thing, but instead of a jab, stay together. Stay together, you're gonna do a hook. So it doesn't matter what leg is in front, face each other. Yeah, we'll practice once. Hook and duck, hook, duck, hook and duck. You ready? Hook, just do two more. Now, facing each other. Oh no, here we go. Ready, here they go. Hook, duck, and hook. That's it, good. Ready, who's ducking first? <laughs> who's ducking first? Effie? All right, Effie and I are gonna duck. Four, three, yeah, here she comes. Duck, and hook. Duck, and hook. Duck, and hook. Keep going. Last four. Four, hook, three, come on, get right in this guy. Two, and one. Everyone back on their mat. We're learning the next one. We're gonna kick this time. Standing, left foot in front. Facing the front, right foot facing the back corner. All you're gonna do is go. Kick, step, sway, back. Kick. You can see what's gonna happen, can't you? <laughs> Ready? Yeah, exactly. Sway, back, kick, back. Sway. You want to kick a tall person? You've got a tall person, you're in trouble. Again, kick, back, sway. Just do it two more times. Kick, back, sway. One more time. Get in your partners. Partners, give yourself plenty of room. Decide who's going to kick, decide who's going to sway. Doesn't matter which leg, I don't care. Ready? So get it sorted first. Who's kicking? Who's kicking? I'm kicking. You're swaying. Swaying, yeah, you gotta get back. Ready, set, let's move it back, go. Kick, and wait, now go. Bang, other way, go. Kick, and back. Kick, and again. Back, get it, come on. Boom, again. Back, kick. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't pay attention. All right, I'm with you. Okay. We're gonna, face this way. You can, no, no, there's just a kick and a duck. Kick and a sway. You're gonna sway, we're gonna kick. Ready? Let's go. Kick. Now she kicks up. Bang. Now we kick her. Now she's gonna kick us. That's it. Go again. Kick. Back. Sway. Back again. Kick. Back. Sway. That's it. One last time. Kick. Back. Okay, grab each other's hands. Grab each other's hands. Hands, 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 hands. Let's go, powerful finish, let's move. Come on, fast as you can. That's it, and you got the old bottom shake happening at the same time. It just happens. No, no, I'm watching. <laughs> Stop. Come on, let's go, really use your arms. Go, 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 go. Heads down, faster. Eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back on your mats. Well done, gang. Well done. Back to a nice, easy squat. Down and up. Oh, well, that was fun. Keep going, there's eight more. Seven, six, nice and steady, four to go. Four, three, 
Make sure you take the feet out wide and hold it out. Ready? Finish with your uppercuts. Start slow. Start slow. Sorry, behind us. And there's only about one. 400 people behind us. Unreal. Keep going. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. So that's your slow one. Ready? Finish with the fast one with the classic butt wiggle. Go. Up. Now I want you to do this the whole way through the break. When we come back, we continue. Don't go far. on and we've got actually a guest so if we'd like to welcome this gentleman Hello. what should we call you I'm, I'm Julius Caesar Ju Julius Caesar okay now Julius Caesar I believe was a bit of a wimp is that right he was a bit of a wuss wasn't he <laughs> so we can actually beat the daylights out of Julius <laughs> okay you win <laughs> put it back please okay so we've got boxing gloves we've got focus mitts actually if if I can use you later and I'm gonna play with Julius for a moment sorry don't get me wrong can I get you to put these on for me please all right all right allow me to help you there you go. They go really well with those nice big wrist straps you got. Yes. Alright, now, do you know much about boxing? Um, no, no, it's more wielding a broadsword. Okay then, so we're not too good unless you're taking on lions and tigers, is that correct? That's right. We're going to see how tough you are, Julius, my friend. Lion. Lion. Okay, well, I am a Leo, so I am a lion. Alrighty then. So, there we go, you don't have to use your imagination much. Effie, can I have your assistance just to do that for me? You, Effie's more excited what's going on over there, so... <laughs> Okay, all I'm going to get you to do, here's the focus pads. With your right arm, I want you to hit this focus pad. Which, which is your right arm? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> so just repeatedly hit it. I want you to hit it seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now once with the other arm. Cross. Bang. You ready? Seven. Go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. He must be swaying in this outfit. <laughs> all right, here we go. You ready? Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, go, three, two, one, again, seven, six, four, three, two, one, hold, stop. No! <laughs> Please, Please. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. <sighs> okay, we're doing another one. Get back here. <laughs> you can hang on to that, Wendy. If I look like I'm in any trouble at all, you're coming to the rescue. Okay, up the cuts. Bang, bang, bang. So I hold up here. Just go one arm, other arm, go. Bang, bang, that's it, let's go. Do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. It makes Russell Crowe look like a wuss, doesn't it? Keep going, 4, <laughs> 3, 2, 1. Hold it there. <laughs> Beautiful. This man is good. <laughs> All right, okay, you finished? Okay, last one. Hooks. You with me with a hook? So, yeah, that arm's coming around. Let's just do that arm four times, then that arm four times. Ready, go. Four, harder. Three, two, one. Four, three, two. Hey, that's a funny looking hook. That's like a little. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Come back. Let's do it again. Same thing. This arm first. Four, three, two, one. Four, yeah. Now the side. Four, yes. Again. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, stop. <laughs> How you doing? Oh. Julius, I would like to thank you very, very much. It has been my pleasure. Here, I'll help you with those. Oh, okay, you're doing fine on your own there. <laughs> I will trade you gloves for a sword if you would just like to take a bow. Anything you want to say? Anyone you'd like to say hello to? He's absolutely puffed. He can't speak right here. Oh, all right. Thank you so very much. That was great fun. All right, I'll get rid of these. <laughs> Okay, let's just keep moving. Now, the whole idea, did I forget to mention that you're supposed to do that with him? Okay, so if you were watching just purely entertainment, ideally, you can do all those exercises with or without the focus pads. You just keep doing the punches and you're still continuing with your workout. Do eight more. Eight, seven. Keep it going, four more, please. Four and three, two and one. Just give the shoulders a bit of a shake side to side. Still moving. Last four. Four, three, two, march on the spot. Here we go. March and we'll finish with a little kick sequence. You're going to march forward. One, two, three. And march back. So put a little kick at the end. Kick. One, two, three. That's going to be a front snap. And that's going to be a variation of a roundhouse. Front. Now turn it around. Bang. Front snap. Hand. Bring it around. Kick. Looking good. Front snap. Turn it around. Hand. You do not. 
might have to kick high. Should have got Julius to do this in his dress, huh? That might have made for some entertaining viewing. <laughs> Last time. And kick. March on the spot, left leg march. Ready? Now. Left, right, left, right. Same thing, start small, build up into big. <coughs> Excuse me, march forward. One, two, three, little kick. And then you turn, and then do a little kick to the front. Let's do it, bit bigger now. Front snap, push, turn into it. Round. Now remember, on that kick at the back, lean away just a little bit. Front. So it kind of counterbalances the fact your leg goes forward and your body goes backwards. Bang, that's it. Kick. Do two more. Ready? Front snap. Bang. You got it one more time. Finish it. Front and march on the spot. Beautifully done. When we come back, we stretch and see if we can drag Julius back here. See you soon. Well, Julius has left the building, but there kind of are a lot of interesting characters wandering around, so uh, keep your eyes peeled, because we may just drag a few others along, if not today, then another time. Starting with a quadriceps stretch. Bring the heel, goodness, the heel to the bottom. <laughs> We're standing on a slope, you just can't see it. Pressing the hip forward, getting a nice stretch down the front of the thigh. Balancing. That was great, I love the sword business. <laughs> so protective, you're the mother of the group, aren't you? Thank you very much, Wendy. Let's change sides, please. Bringing the heel up to the bottom. That's how exercise should be. The whole idea is supposed to be good fun. Make it enjoyable. Only do the forms of exercise that you enjoy doing. If you haven't given a boxing workout a go, it can be so much fun. I honestly don't know anyone who's tried boxing and not liked it. It's one of those forms of formats of exercise that you just can so get into because you don't have to think too much in terms of complexity. Let's do a hamstring stretch but it is a really good workout. And I really developed a new appreciation for boxers once I started training like this. Did you find that? Because it looks so, it, yeah, yeah, it is really intense. You have to think about a lot of little things that you wouldn't even consider. So I have a renewed respect for boxers. Change sides and martial artists. I thought, yeah, a couple of punches, a couple of kicks, but now, no, don't even claim to be an expert, but I can appreciate what you do. Coming up, okay, we definitely need to do a few upper body stretches with all the punches that we've been throwing. So right arm across the body, relax the shoulder, tummy tight, and pull the arm across the chest and then all the way over to the side. Hold that there, please. Now, by the way, just in case you're wondering where we are, we're at Fox Studios, we're at the back lot, which is like the theme park area of Fox Studios, and we're just having a great time here, so if you ever get a chance to check it out, I thoroughly recommend it. Lots and lots of fun. Relax the shoulder, pull it across, stretching back part of your shoulder. Hold it there for four and three, two and one. Hands behind the back. Now, while I have your attention here, I'd also like to respond to a letter that was written by a lady named Kathy. Kathy from Castle Hill. We got your letter and we just want to say thanks for the letter. Appreciate your feedback. And Kathy was talking about why we don't do some programs that are currently run in some of the gyms. Keep in mind, with all the programs that we choose to do, we've got to make sure that you at home can do them. So we can't do programs that are equipment based, that have steps, that have weight plates and bars and everything. So a lot of the programs that you do at the gym, necessarily you're not gonna have the equipment to do at home. Sorry, Wendy? Yeah, yeah, occasionally one, you know, once a week, once every two weeks, we might do something that involves equipment, but more often than not, we've gotta keep in mind that you're not gonna have equipment at home. So we've gotta do what you're gonna be able to do with the equipment that you've got at home. So weights become tins of spaghetti. <laughs> And you can do everything that we did today, minus the focus pads and the gloves. So that's the whole idea. And a lot of the stuff that we do, I know Effie and I were talking about this, is cutting edge stuff. So the boxing, whole boxing concept in Cal Incorporated to Fitness is a very, very new concept. So we're keeping you up to date and doing the latest sort of fitness for you. Okay, bringing the shoulders around. So once again, Kathy, thank you very much. Appreciate your feedback and hopefully you understand where we're coming from. Let that a bit of a shoulder roll side to side. Nice and gently. Do eight and seven. Just relax into it. Four more movements. Four and three. Two, okay, take it all the way over. Stretch the legs out and drop down into a little bit of an adductor stretch. If you're flexible, as you can see Jody is, you can get quite low and put your arm down in front. If you're fairly new to stretching or exercise, you might feel more comfortable standing in a bit more of an upright position. I promise you, you'll feel the stretch here no matter how low you are. 
and chain slides please. Be up or down, your choice. Sitting the bottom back, sitting the hips down. Hold that there for a moment please. Okay, roll back to centre, slowly unwind. Leave the hands on the thighs and roll it back down again. Then bring your right shoulder to your left knee. Looking over your shoulder, stretching through the back into the torso, holding right there. Looking behind you. And when you're ready, same stretch, other side. Drop it over, this is the last stretch for the day. And roll it back. So, if you are looking for another form of workout, I would seriously suggest boxing martial arts. Anything new, you're pretty much going to find you're going to get an improvement in your body shape and your fitness. So, go out, try something new today, and we'll see you next time on Aerobics All Star.